Welcome guys to this week's move, Friday movie reviews and pickups. Well, I'm going to change it when it comes to reviews now. Um, I don't know if it's going to be okay or not. Just something I'm going to try as of um, when, as of well, today, Friday, I'll change it up a bit. So, I don't know it will work, so I'm going to just say, but I'm still doing weekly pickups. Some time, some days, some weeks are not going to be much, and some weeks are going to be a good haul, like this week. So, let's begin with Friday. And, um, Friday was an exciting, um, exciting day for me, because Friday was my birthday. So, um, the first thing I picked up, well, the, um, do my presents after, um, yeah, just show you what I picked up for that day first, before I show you what, um, I got for my presents. Um, do the DVDs, we got A Kid in King's Arthur's Court, a Disney movie I never even seen, I heard, I know of this existence, but don't know anything about it. But I really love Disney movies, especially um, the classic ones. And we got a family plan. Um, yeah, I mean, looking forward to um, the family plan. To be honest, that is a freebie. I got King Kid and King Arthur Court, and I bought my mum a DVD. Um, and they said you can have another one for free, buy two, get one free or something. I never seen this one. Look interesting. Never even heard of that one. So looking forward to checking it out. And the last DVD I bought for that day is SpongeBob SquarePants season six. I want to get um all of them seasons. This is the only one that I own. Well, I had the both of the movies. I grew up watching this show. Um, so I'm looking forward to rechecking this show out. And um, next, what came through the post that day? I got The Walking Dead, Volume Three and Four, graphic novels. I only got the first four, so I got ways to go before I can start reading them. I won't read any of the comics until I have a, at least all what currently out. I think Volume Twenty Eight out, I think, or Twenty Seven. Um, one of them, and for my presents, the first present I can tell you because it was a big day Friday. Um, I mean, I went out for my birthday. Um, I went to go somewhere to get a present. You could say the first present I got was um, was a tattoo. I mean, like I haven't got enough of them already. My seventh tattoo. And of course, I keep them with the same sort of themed. It is um, anime, as the others are. Um, I can sorry, it's just on my arm. Um, some people should know what it is. It Deku by My Hero Academia. Um, and it turned out pretty well. I didn't realize it was gonna be this big, but it it were it were really nice. And. I got from my dad um Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. I grew up hating the Mario Kart games, but I want all the games for the Nintendo Switch. So I asked for this one, but I don't think I actually asked for it. I mean you know I got Mario, so he picked this up on a whim. I played it. I freaking love this game. I grew up hating them because I know that kind of um, pathetic, but because I kept on using and I we really love this game because I keep on winning. But I haven't played this game for years. Well, I've played in other games on like DS, and I we really, we really enjoyed this game. My character is um, that Splatoon boy. Um, I completed the first um, area. The first sele sele selection, um, the first on my birthday, I'm on uh, the second selection now. 
uh, we do your black gamer with each level you have different levels the same levels but uh just a little bit harder i think so and i also got um well i haven't used that i got 50 pound cex gift card so i will be using that in the near future most likely in january i will have a look um so that for the pickups and that lasted about over five minutes so yeah to go on to the movie today um i did not watch any movies that day i mean i got it all on the screen in front of me what happened that week i did not watch any movies that day so you had to move on to saturday which is another big um day i got all these dvds brand new um minus um, let me just take a couple out. Got found the first ones I picked up from Morrison's brand new. Would have cost me £74, but only cost me instead £2. Office cost me £2, brand new from Morrison's. Because um, for um, months now, I've been putting um, £2 a week as a on one of them cards where you take it for Christmas and since you already pretty much paid for it you don't really miss the money so you get to get whatever you want for that money so that's what I did I mean I will keep on doing it every year and it will go towards DVDs nothing more no shopping whatsoever no food and that just DVDs so this is what I picked up for £74 with came out of my wide that day two pounds got the valerian intrigued intrigued about it um oh i ought to tell you before i show the west it would buy to get one free even though it's say um, free for 20 pounds but it's 10 pound each anyway so it two for it it free two and get, buy two get one free so that's why it went overboard Got Valerian Intrigue. That one War the Planet Apes. Been wanting to watch it in the cinemas. Loved the first one. The second one I didn't get into. So I don't know if I would like this one or not. But I do have the wares on DVD, so I'll pick this one up. Um we got for Mummy. Um the start of the Wii Boots for um the um Universal Monsters. Apparently, this isn't that good. But I've seen the trailers and I like Tom Cruise. So I um, want to check it out. And this one I've seen in the cinemas with my mum. And I laughed like hell at it at the cinemas. Got Baywatch. I'm looking forward to watching it again. Dwayne Johnson, lovely movies. Sack F1, it's really awesome as well. And. Um, yeah. Um, the other ones I got Fast and Furious 8. Got the other 7. Finally got picked up the 8th one. I have not seen as I haven't seen any of the Fast and Furious movies. But I've seen trailers. I really want to watch them all. Now I've got all 8. I can start watching them. Got the Emoji movie. My sister's seen it. She didn't like it. But she's not really that big in animation. Animation, if you all know, is my favourite uh, genre. And yes, she looks stupid from the tracer scene. I mean, come on. It's a movie about emoji icons. Yes, that emoji would be stupid. But I'm looking forward to check this one out anyway. And now I've got Transformers for last night. I really impressed the trailers. I really didn't want to watch it by, by the trailers. The first two, again, I love. The third one, didn't enjoy as much. Haven't seen the fourth one. And here the fifth one. Also got Bad Santa 2. Got the first one. Need to get the second one. Have not seen any of these movies. It's in the Christmas season. I can finally check them out. And this one, I was surprised 
to be on that two buy two get one free deal. All bounds to Mrs. Brown. I seen it when it was airing on TV. It wasn't a bad show. It still made me laugh it, at times. It where they invite popular guests like that woman from Baywatch, the originals, and um, be like that. I think, I think that her fair. I think that her, um, it was a pretty interesting show. I do your Mrs. Brown, the TV show. So I'm looking forward, to, uh, well, not looking forward to already seen it, but I'm glad to have it in my collection. I also got them two from Morrison's as well, but them two wasn't on the deal because they were £7 each. So I picked up Batman versus Two Face. Been wanting to pick a fist up for a long time, um, but never got around to it. So since I got that gift card, I can um, pick it up. And this is the movie I've been wanting to get for so long. I've been wanting to watch in cinemas, but never got around to it. Hidden figures. Ever since ever since I saw the trailers, I've been really wanting to watch it. So now I can. And the same day, I picked up three DVDs. I picked this one up, up from CEX. The Education of Little Tree. No, nothing bad. I've seen the trailers. So I saw it the day before my birthday, but didn't know if I should pick it up or not. So I watched the trailers when I got home. Since I'm going um, Coville, that was. Um, since I'm going Coville the next day, I decided to pick it up. And I picked them up from B&M. Got Cinderella of Two Dreams Come True. I thought I had this movie. So I looked at my phone, I only have the first and the third one, did not have the second one. I seen it, was a pretty good sequel. And I got One All Night. I like Liam Neeson movies, so I picked this one up. That is for um, the pickups after my birthday. So you could say my post birthday pickups, you could say. Now we just get on with the movies. I watched one movie that day. And the first movie that I watched is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Now that is a classic. Even though it came out in the year 2000, I watched this movie every Christmas since I was little. It's about this guy who is all green fur. He had a bad incident when he was younger. And because of that, he hates Christmas completely. And um, his name is the Grinch. The whole town don't like him, uh, and the Grinch has never came down from his mountain base home. So they thought he sometimes come down in disguise. One Christmas Eve, a young girl named Cindy. Um. Don't don't she don't understand why the whole town hate the Grinch. So. Um, she, she was asking around to find out. Cindy believes that the Grinch has a good heart. The Grinch also has a dog named Max. Um, Cindy tried to bring peace to the town and the Grinch. But uh, until um, they pushed the Grinch so much, the Grinch did something awful. I don't... Um, I don't want to say any more since it might spoil you, but with the tray, um, with the name of the movie How the Grinch Stole Christmas, pretty much um, spoil you there anyway. Um, so The Grinch is a fantastic movie. I we did in, I we do enjoy that movie. Um, on Sunday, I watched one movie. And that is Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer for movie. That is a classic, one of, if not my favourite Christmas movies of all time. I grew up um, with this movie, I love it. It's about a young reindeer named Rudolph. Rudolph was born a little different from other reindeers. Rudolph has a shiny nose, and because of that, he gets teased a lot, and nobody gives him a chance. 
Rudolph has a crush on a female reindeer named Zoe. Rudolph, when Rudolph decided that he can't do this anymore, Rudolph ran away from home. He met a few friends along the way. When Zoe found out, she went and tried to bring Rudolph back. Then something happens to Zoe along the way. That's all I'm saying about this. I don't want to spoil it for you. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it though. It's just a good animated movie. On Monday, I watched two movies. Um, the first movie is A Christmas Star. That was a really good movie. It's about a girl who was born on Christmas Day in a barn. And, and throughout her life, she had a gift to make miracles. Her name is Noel. Noel, Noel, um, a guy bought the factory and wanted to make something evil with it. When Noel found out his plan, she tries everything she can to stop him with the help of her friends. I would definitely recommend this movie. Never seen it before. I think I picked it up early this year or last year. Now I think about it, I think I, I think I picked up Yas Christmas, but never got around to watching it. So I checked it out this year, and it was a pretty good movie. The next movie that I watched straight after is A Christmas Wish. That was a really good movie. I always keep repeating myself every time, but I love movies about animals. This is we really a Christmas movie. This isn't really a Christmas movie, but it's just set around Christmas. Um, it's about a family who is really poor. The youngest of the family name is Norman. He is a little crippled boy who dreams that he is a cowboy. Norman um, saw a horse over this woman's fence. Even though she has a sign for saying no trespassing, Norman couldn't resist to go near the horse. Norman became friends with the horse, so this, so this movie is mainly about Norman and the horse that he named Cloud. They do have a secret Santa, but that about it when it comes to Christmas in this film. If you like animals, Films. This is the one you for you to check out. Okay, now for Tuesday, I picked up three things. Well, all that um, came through the post. I see. Um, I started with this one. I got an anime scroll, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I love this scroll. So I need to find room or make room in my bedroom to hang this one up. This one, you're pretty damn cool. Um, the next one um, is a CD. Um, I didn't realize he was a singer until I came across one of his uh, music videos on on YouTube, and I just thought I did not know he was a singer because he pretty good. So. I got um, the album Mitchell Musso. Um, we all know him as um, the guy, as the kid from Hannah Montana, the dorky looking um, boy who hung around with um, Miley and uh, what her name again? I've. My. I've, I've got her name now. This, that would bother me. Um, anyway, my friend, you know, I listened to this. I um, imported straight after when it came to the post onto my iPod. I listened to all the songs while I was on my way to work, and it were a pretty. All, I enjoyed every single song of this album. Not one song I wish I didn't install on my iPod. I. After you your this album, so that is a good buy. And the last thing I bought Tuesday is another graphic novel. 
I mentioned about that one last week. Got super, the DC Universe Re Rebirth, Superman, Volume Three, Multi um, Pirate City. Um, I most I said that wrong. This is Volume Three. I bought um, if you can see it. Yeah, uh, I bought the other two last week, so I got the third one. Let me know if this is the last one. I think this finishes it. This up um, issue 14 to 17 and annual one. Um, okay, and I watched three movies that week, that day. Um, Uh, the first movie I watched is The Christmas Foul. That was um, not a very good movie, a bit boring. And again, this isn't really a Christmas movie. It just set uh, at Christmas time. The bad people in this movie were really goofy. This film is about a guy with his son and daughter. They were on their way to spend Christmas with their grandma. But they have gotten lost and ended up at the ranch. Their car wasn't working so they spent the night in the car until morning. They were greeted by a an horse and an old woman. So they stayed at the ranch until the car is fixed. The bad guys try and steal one of the horses. I love animal films but I wouldn't recommend this film. A bit boring. It wasn't as I expected it would be. The next movie I watched straight after is Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in GI. That is a stop motion movie. Um, that wasn't a very good movie. I didn't get into it at all. It's it, about Rudolph and his best friend Frosty who had gone on a trip to the circus in July and Rudolph got in a lot of trouble. To be honest, this is this should have been this should have been and and how special like some of other Christmas specials. I think it worked on too long for what it is. If you like classic Christmas specials then check it out. But if you're not bothered then don't The next movie that I watched is A Wonderful Life. i never seen it before. I know. Guilty conscience there. I have never seen It's A Wonderful Life. i never seen it before. I've been wanting to watch it for years, but never got round to it. So this year, I finally checked it out. And it were... Okay. Um, I didn't expect it too um, much from it um, from this movie and it a film that is is set around Christmas time but I'm not sure if I'll call this a Christmas movie or not near the end it should have had a Christmas cow style it tells the story of, of a boy who became a man and got married, then have children. There isn't really much to say about this film. It wasn't a bad movie. It's not a good movie either. I watch it in black and white as that is the only version I own. I don't plan on picking up the coloured version. The original black and white version is just fine with me. Um okay, Wednesday I picked up and yeah Wednesday I picked up two things. Let's start off with DVD. I picked up Tomboy. Um don't know anything about this movie. The trays intrigued me. This movie is a French movie with English subtitles. Don't don't know anything about this film. If you do, um, let me know. Um, it looks interesting. I like movies when they start kids because um, it's sort of it's so it brings you know, the youth into movies. So I'm looking forward to checking this French movie out. 
And the other thing I picked up is Star Wars Yoda Secret Wars. I got this because this is set before The Phantom Menace. And I want to get like all the canon Star Wars. So I can watch the Star Wars from the very beginning. From all the, well, from where the canon start until The Last Jedi. Um, also, let me know. So I know this is canon, but this is also 4 and 5. It's the first 4 um, canon as well. Uh, because I looked at the issue... Uh, I think them are the first four, and if that's true, um, Luke Skywalker, um, Chewbacca, they was not in before um, the Phantom Menace, so I think this is where the kind of start. If so, I wish it didn't number it. They're kind of annoying. Okay, um, I watched two movies that night. Um, the first movie is Santa's Little Helper. That was a pretty good movie. It's about a guy named Dax who gonna lose everything, his job and his house until a woman shows up on his doorstep. The woman name is B. B offered Dax a job if he can prove himself. Dax didn't know. What kind of job it was because B wouldn't say. B is actually an elf. This was an interesting movie. I did enjoy it. I never seen it before. I think I bought that um last year or the year before. I buy Christmas movies when I see them because nine nine out of ten time chance I will actually like it. Um. The next day, I picked I picked up one thing. Well, came for the post. I was looking I was looking up at Rudolph, and this one intrigued me. I don't we really like stop motion that much, but I picked up this one. Highly days for Christmas that almost didn't happen because apparently that reindeer is Rudolph's son. And Rudolph get mentioned in this movie. So I just thought. It were only £2 on Amazon. So I picked it up on a whim. And what really impressed me when I got it. Is whose voices are in it. I did not realise them two. Who are in it. And this one here. Um, got Dean and Cole Sprouse. Um. I did not know if they were voiced in voicing this movie. Growing up, I have a huge crush on the Sprouse Brothers. The Sprouse Brothers were amazing, and I still um, got a bit of a crush on Cole Sprouse. Um, I don't think you've seen Dean anymore. Um, I don't. I think they stopped making movies together now. Um, the, there's TV show that Cole was in and Riverdale that were pretty cool. And still um, really we good on this on that show now. So for that alone, I'm really happy I bought this to own Cohen's Dean Sprouse because I got all the movies rock out that they are starting. But as I thought, I did not have any idea if this movie existed. So I'm so happy to pick this one up. Um. I just realised that I jumped the gun. Um, there was another movie I watched yesterday. So I'll just go and quickly tell you about that one. And that movie is The Polio Express. Another movie that I grew up watching. I love this film. It's pretty much about guys who shows up in a train and take kids from their houses to... to um, that is a kind of a scary thought. That sort of come up and invite kids along. He liked the Pie Piper sort of style. Um, to take them to the North Pole. On their way to the North Pole, they have a sort of a problem. The reason why they... Um, they... Uh, 
the reason why I really need to um, have a look at my spelling when I've done all this. Um, the reason why you get adopted, um, you could say that anyway, um, to the North Pole is that Santa will pick one child to be given first present of Christmas. This is a great movie, I highly recommend it. It's good animation. Um, okay, now the last two movies I, I watch on Thursday is Elf. Yet again, another movie I grew up watching. This is one of my favourites. I absolutely love this film. It always stars Will Ferrell. Um, I think that is the first movie I've seen of Will Ferrell before. This movie is about a baby orphan who sneaked into Santa's bag while he is in an orphanage. So Santa decided to keep him and he was raised by Papa Elf. The baby name is Buddy. When Buddy found out that he different from all the other elves, Papa Elf told him where his dad is. So Buddy went on went on um, a journey to New York in search for his dad. When Buddy found him, he didn't want anything to do with him. So Buddy tries to convince him that he is his son. And Buddy also fell in love in this movie. Um, as well, this is a really great movie. I would highly recommend it. Okay, um, for over 30 minutes in this movie and I need a drink. So, yeah, quickly wrap this one up. Um, the last movie I watch is The Muppets Christmas Carol. That was a good movie. It is another take on the Christmas Carol. That might be the only, that might be the last Christmas Carol movie I watched this um, season, maybe. I'm saying that because I watched a few Christmas Carol um, versions now and to be honest even though there are different takes when you've seen them once you've seen them all you know the story you know the plot it's pretty much the same idea all over again but just different out settings that was a good movie it's, it's another take on the Christmas Carol as I just said um, I won't say too much because everyone knows the story of the Christmas Carol so this movie um through this movie, the movie was narrated, now, narrated, um, by Gonzo and he was with, uh, with Rizzo, and they followed Scrooge while he got visited by the ghosts. So the songs were good in this movie as well. I mean, it's a Muppets movie. The songs bound to be good. This is one of my, um, this is one of the better takes on the Christmas Carol. Because it is really funny. I, my, I think my favorite thing, my fa favorite um scene on in this movie, is when Rizzo fell off the gate, but forgot. I forgot what it was. Forgot something inside the over the gate. So instead of going back over the gate, he went through the gate. That was a really funny moment. Um, and if you watch this video to the end, thank you so much. This is quite a long video. That one I'm going to try to change it up a bit and make now do my weekly pickups on a separate video like I used to and my movies. I might do it. That the plan I was going to try and do. Um, I'm going to see do it like daily. Just movie reviews of what I watched that day and quickly upload it without no editing. That's why I'm not going to edit this video. I just got it posted. Um, war, you could say. I'm not going to do any edit editing by the it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next week when I pick up stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow or tonight for a movie review. So, see you then, and a Merry Christmas!